every time I'm at sea solo, I absolutely thrive in that. It's rare in this modern era that we have the opportunity to, to rely on ourselves 100%. And to be surrounded by nothing. Just the ocean and you and the boat. And then just that is beautiful. You, in many ways, are a slave to circumstance. It will take every single ounce of energy that you have. It's this constant balance of how much you give to the boat and how much you give to the race. You can't bring yourself dry on day one. Being completely isolated definitely weighs on your mind. Of all the people on the planet, we are really the furthest away from help. Somebody climbing Everest is going to be closer to a hospital if something goes wrong. I was still in 10th place and still racing well. That's when I had one last crazy storm. The waves were huge. And then it went bang and the mast was on the water. I didn't even see it fall, but it happened too quickly. And the wind snapped and then I was really in danger. I was hungry and distraught from having a terrible night of cutting away my, my future and seeing it sort of sink into the ocean. Upon waking up, I decided that, um, that I would keep on fighting, even though I thought that I had absolutely nothing left in me to give. I cut a new mainsail out of the pieces that I had left, and I sailed the last 800 miles back home to finish the race. To participate in a solo, non-stop race around the world, it was a long burn of 10 years of preparation to get me to the start line. And then it was a crazy 100 days to get me to my dismasting. But it was the 10 days that followed that that were the moments that I really found out what I was made of.